Hey guys, what's up? It's your friendly neighborhood, Ibrigus here, back again with another Slay the Spire video. I think I might actually do the silent. I don't like what Ascension 6 looks like, though. Start each run damaged, but I'm gonna give it a shot. I don't know how damaged that is. Oh, barely. It's 10% of your life, okay. Enemies in your next three combats have one HP. Could be very good if we can hit it on an elite, which of course we cannot. Uh, no, there is a chance we do. And we're forced into an elite encounter no matter what, so we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot. We have to get a little bit lucky. We're we're hitting up two question marks, and we're hoping neither has enemies. That's pretty much what it comes down to. Um okay, getting a deadly poison straight away really makes me want to go for the poison deck. Makes me want to force it, so I think I will. That is Oh my god, that's incredible. Holy shit. Okay. That early of a mo oh, Mamori is absolutely ridiculous. Okay. It would appear as if we are successfully forcing poison. What you got? Corpse explosion. Now we could we could actually make that do something. Yeah. I mean, yes. Please. No combat. Oh my god, it's another box. It's a bag of prep. Oh my god. What the hell is going on? And we get a 1 HP this guy. Alright, today is a good day. <laughs> today is a good fucking day. A strawberry! Jesus! No thank you on any of that. Today is a good fucking day so far. Holy shit! And by today, I mean this run specifically. As a whole, today is still like kind of the same as pretty much any other day, but... Hot damn. Hot damn. as well. Prep that guy further. Uh, we can't deadly poison catalyst and corpse explosion in a turn. But deadly poison and corpse explosion. Oh, I was hoping that this guy would. Yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna do this. Like, it'll kill this guy, and then I'll take seven, which I don't really like. So I'll just kill that guy. This guy's dead to two strikes anyway. So it doesn't really matter what we draw. He's dead to a lot of two-card combos. Pretty much anything that deals damage. Yeah, another deadly poison sounds awesome. I am going to go this way in case this is... Oh my god. Or a Calcum. Uh, I honestly think I am going to go here for a second elite. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. It's Kyria. It's fucking terrible for me. <laughs> Maybe not fucking terrible, but it's not very good for me. We're gonna upgrade Corpse Explosion. So my goal here is to basically get the- and maybe I should have rested, but I guess we know it can't be the spooky scary man. The spookiest, scariest man is is basically what I'm referring to. Uh, at the very least we get to start this turn, or this uh, fight very well, get him 12 poison straight away. Because Deadly Poison I believe is a skill, right? Yeah. So uh, that would be 45. 45 is a high amount. I am going to do this, though. And then just this and this. Because we have Aura Calcum, so defend actually loses us more life than not defending. Like, substantially. So, it's fine. And... Yeah, I guess I'll just poison him again. Like, yeah, it's giving him strength. Yeah, it's making me take damage, but we're going to rest anyway. He's dead anyway. Who gives a shit? Also, I didn't need to play Deadly Poison, it was just, I was hoping that this turn I would draw Corpse Explosion, because I wanted to just see a big number, but Lantern is awesome. <sighs> Acrobatics is good. I will take it. Some sweet- Oh my god! And Pantograph? What the fuck? Okay, this is ridiculous. This is actually ridiculous. What the fuck is happening? I'm actually kind of losing my mind here. We got so many relics on the first floor. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I guess I will just Catalyst and then Defend, Defend. It's not great, but... Can't always do something magnificent. Fantastical. So he's at, uh... Oh, God. No, we're, we're... Well, 
Yeah, we're probably taking damage this turn. Ooh. No. Yes, we are. <laughs> yeah, no, that would have only been... Uh, that would have gotten him to one, actually. So. Well... I guess... Yeah, there's no reason not to defend this turn. And Survivor does give us the most life back, so... But I guess we get to rest, and we should still have full health on the boss because of Panthagraph. So that's cool. Blip. So far, so good on this deck. It's not incredible. Uh, Bane or another acro? I don't need another acro, but I'll take it. So how much does this heal? It's 23. So we're at, uh, we're at functionally... Okay, so this will effectively heal 17. So it'll over here heal by six. That's fine. Because we don't get to full heal after bosses anyway. So I'd rather, you know, over heal a bit, have this boss fight go maybe bad. It might it might not go too well. I'm not sure. We're not corpse exploding. Probably should have popped this first. I did miss out on two damage already. It's alright. So theoretically, next turn, I could play Catalyst if I desire. Probably also should have popped this one. Oh, I didn't even get Catalyst this turn. Uh, am I triple blocking? Yeah. Yeah, I am. This is still going to hurt real bad. Ouch. No more poison. It sucks. Uh, defend is worse than just strike. I do want to hold off on the Catalyst until he has actually like a good amount of poison which might end up being a mistake I'm not sure okay drawn pretty mediocre so this shouldn't stop us from getting burns it just negates debuffs so there's no reason to pop it this fight of course I'm always drawing neutralize when he's not attacking which is very upsetting <laughs> but it won't Okay, we're gonna acro. We did get neutralized, that's very nice. I am not gonna play the other acro, because this turn I'm gonna neutralize. We're gonna catalyst, and we are going to survivor. There you go. So now our poison's gonna tick him away real hard. And next time we drop corpse explosion, it will be lethal. We're just gonna play hard defense now. Because we, we effectively have him dead. Uh, oh no. Wait, yeah, he should die right... Actually, yeah, yeah, No, we're good. I was about to say, oh no. <laughs> Is he gonna die right after he uh, does his big attack? No, he's dying right before it. There you go. Corpse explosion, though. Do it! <laughs> actually, that was something that, that genuinely was beneficial. Burst is great. Um, specimen is exactly what a poison deck wants. Hell yeah. Alright, let's see how much we actually heal. We went from 28 to 65. 28 to 65. That is a difference of 37. And 37 is a little bit under half my life. My max life. I don't know if that's... Because it's not, it's not exactly half. So it's a little weird. Obviously, like, 38 would be exactly half. Or was was the first number on a, ending in a 7? I don't know. Who cares? Whatever. I see a way that we can go without fighting elites. I do like the way of not fighting elites, and we also get a shop, so yeah, I'm cool with it. Okay, I do want to acro for sure, but I am going to weaken this guy. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So we could do... It would only be six to all, which is pretty worthless. Be honest. Maybe I just acro again. Hope to hit catalyst. We did not hit catalyst. That's fine. You just poison this guy. And we'll take six here, which isn't that bad. Basically, I want to get this guy's poison really high, and then it'll just tear through him. Because poison doesn't get affected by flight. It does full damage no matter what. There you go. You just start with the catalyst on him. And then I'll strike so he ticks out to this. 
And then there's no reason to play defend, so I will just begin to work on this guy as well. Just so they can get as low as possible. Because uh, when this jumps, yeah, it's only 20. Cool. So this guy's powering up, which is a little spooky. It's still only one strength, though, even on Ascension 6. That's a little surprising. Uh, a single defend is worse than no defend, so... Sure, acro. Cool. So I'm taking another 6 down to 53. That's not bad. This fight still went pretty well. Could have gone better. Still went pretty well. I mean, there's... He dies. I was about to say, there's no way that he doesn't die with this, right? I didn't quite do the math at that point. Alright, poison stab. Sure. Something sweet. Okay, card game. We can do that. Mind Blast would be awesome. I'd love it. Okay. Yeah, I do want another Neutralize. And we don't want a Parasite, so... Unfortunate. There were a few things in there that I would have liked, but... Couldn't get any of them. I don't need Panacea. I don't really want to spend money on well-laid plans. Anchor's not bad. Regal Pillow's not bad. Calipers is pretty bad for us. I am going to go Anchor, and I think I am going to go Regal Pillow. And you know what? I may as well remove a Strike from the deck. Get a little thin here. Choose one of 20 cards, or heal 25. Mm, I'm going to actually heal 25 so I can upgrade at the fires. It's going to be my goal. Sorry. I don't have, I don't have money. Alright, so I do want to upgrade probably Burst um, or Deadly Poison. Just go Burst first, because there is another fire coming up. Actually, there really isn't. <laughs> it's in quite a while. Alright. Well, he's in for 14. Cool. So I guess just blocking once is sufficient. And we got some Poison up. Yeah, pretty good first turn. Zero. Get that weaken going, and we're just doubling both of these and taking this here, I guess. Because there's pretty much nothing else to do. Let's play all the cards. We are drawing another poison thing, right? Yeah, and catalyst. It's pretty. Oh, hell yeah. He is fucking dead as dicks. There he goes. That's the combo, right there. That is the hard combo. Very good. Uh, I would traditionally grab footwork here. But I'm not sure if this is even... Yeah, all right, I'll take it. Footwork is very good. Having dexterity is super good. Unupgraded footwork is already very strong. So, upgraded footwork is obviously kind of a no-brainer, I would say. I'm just going to do that real quick. So we're going to aim at this dude. Because, again, we have specimen, so... When this guy inevitably dies, it'll all jump to this dude. Hopefully we kill him this turn. <laughs> uh, mm, how does that math work? 21, half of 21. Yeah, it won't actually work. So, I guess we just block all of it? That's actually still fine. To be honest, that's still totally fine. It does suck a little bit, because now we are having to deal with um, bases in the deck. However, this should be a pretty big number now. Because we are, yeah. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be fine with that, to be honest. Because, like, while this guy, it's really overkill for him. It's jumping, and then that guy's just dead before he does anything. So, it's totally fine. <laughs> there you go. That's the combo, dude. Burst deadly... Plus Catalyst, with literally nothing else, is already, what, 72? It's tremendous. Yeah, well, it Plains Plus is pretty good. I'll probably actually fight this Elite. Pendev is pretty mediocre. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna give it a shot. I do wanna... Yeah, okay, this fight's gonna suck. <laughs> it's fine. Specimen does make it a lot better. Um, but these guys are hitting the same. This is the one I wanna kill first, so I may as well do that to him. I guess I will acro. Yeah, not not stellar. Not a stellar first turn. I guess I will just defend, just block as much as I possibly can. 
Uh, obviously, I'm still taking a good chunk of damage. I'm taking 11 this turn. But I will get to pop regen potion. 12. How did I, how did I have my, 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 my math so wrong? So you can't burst corpse explosion, unfortunately. Uh, if I burst this, it'll only be 27. However, it'll also allow me to burst survivor and take zero, which is pretty good. And it's still a good amount of poison. Actually, can I burst this instead? No. It, I mean, it doesn't matter, actually. There's there's no reason why I would burst that one instead. I'm not going to have any of the cards anyway. So uh, This turn, I'm probably going to try and kill this guy with damage, so it jumps, and then we actually get the 26 hit, I guess. Oh, right, I can't kill him. <laughs> All right. This turn does suck. Probably going to weak potion this guy. It doesn't save a lot of health this turn in particular. Uh, but it does save two. And it lasts three turns, so it's fine. I could have also popped this, because I knew he was going to ensnare, or I should have known he was going to ensnare. So it's just kind of a mistake on my end. 33. So strike, 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 and neutralize is 14. And that's still not enough. Which sucks. So I'm just going to ignore him. Weaken is uh, a little unfortunate. But we're only taking five this turn. And this fight is going to last a bit longer. So actually I feel pretty alright about this situation. I guess I'll aggro. Aggro! And then I guess I just want to take zero, huh? Because, like, the whole thing is, is taken care of. I guess I also probably could have kept burst, but I don't have catalyst anymore, so I'm just bursting, like, poison. Right, poison application, which is not necessary. I actually do desperately... Okay, it works out. Perfect. Get that number high. Because I just wanted to let the final regen potion thing tick. Just to get that life back. So we're good. All right, war paint. We hit deadly poison defend. That's awesome. Block potion is super good as well. I don't need these, so I'm actually gonna skip. I would normally take piercing whale, but eh. I don't really want regret unless we're hitting another shop and there are no more shops, so I will just gain the hundo. And if I go this way, I can go two rests. But if I go this way, I get two question marks and a rest with only one combat. I think that's a little better. And it's two combats. Oh, yeah, this is the new fight, right? Chosen plus cultist, I believe, is the new fight. Okay. Well, I think this is going to be relatively easy here. Uh, question is, do I want a catalyst? And I think the answer is no. So instead, I will just pendib hit. And I guess acro, because I get to retain two cards. So I'll retain the poison and the poison. So hopefully this turn I just get to burst Poison Catalyst and he's effectively dead and if this guy's not attacking it's great. He is not attacking. We did get burst. Uh, could I instead go for Deadly Poison and then Corpse Explosion? It would only be 36 so no. Doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> this is a lot though. That's, that's a large number. And I do get to at least play attacks this turn to help with Pennib. I believe Pennib does work with Corpse Explosion. I, I'm not certain, but I believe so. So I'm going to play every attack this turn just to get Pennib as close to possible, or as, as close as possible. Uh, ideally for the boss. That's my goal. I do not need these. Yeah, let's do the fight first. Footwork. Uh, I will be neutralizing. The question is, am I hitting him with other things first? Probably not. Yeah, just neutralize. It's 18. So we're good to block it here. Okay, so maybe I am going to acro then. And I guess I was going to attack with other things then. <laughs> good news is I drew the other neutralize and we get to do this. And I guess I'm doing this and then keeping these. Perfect. Ooh, shit. It's a large number. And I will keep this. And I guess this, because again, I do kind of want to... 
I do kind of want to get there on the pen nib. Um, and this presumably is our final combat. So I will strike and then corpse explosion. So now we have pen nib ready to go. Mm, I don't need these. Please not combat one time. Nice. Oh, Sneko Skull, so good. I can't afford anything else, but Sneko Skull is so good. Alright, I, do, I don't need to do anything here except for upgrade. And I guess it's going to be Deadly Poison? Upgrading neutralizes is good. Upgrading pretty much anything here is good, honestly. But I'm going to go Deadly Poison because that's my main game plan. I want to increase the power of my main game plan. Well, there's Corpse Explosion, and I get to keep it. So we're already looking incredible. Problem is I can't neutralize. Hmm. And if I... Mm, I guess I do Catalyst this turn. As awkward as that is. Because I do just want a Corpse Explosion this turn. Ideally, I would draw another Poison thing first. I did, but it doesn't quite work. Because it'll, it'll eat up the Pen Nib. Uh, and I guess, yeah, you just do this then. It's a lot of damage. That was a high number. We can neutralize him. And I guess I'm just going to footwork and then retain the burst poison stab. So we're only taking nine here. It's totally fine. Another neutralize. Only 15. I'm going to acro. I think I'm just going to... Well, I'm probably going to pop this, actually. So I'm going to burst the deadly poison, which is a little unfortunate. But it does add a lot of poison. I do like a lot of poison. He's probably not attacking on this coming up turn, so we should be totally fine. This fight should be pretty free. He's definitely not attacking. Give him poison. Give him some poison. Probably just strike him. Keep the two defensive cards. The two best defensive cards would be more accurate. And there you go. He's, he's fucking dead. So Pennib and Corpse Explosion is actually very good because they do just combo. They just they just work. He is attacking this turn. That's horrifying. I think this won't do the amount that I want it to do. So I think what I'm gonna do actually is gonna oh. I can't burst both unless I want to lose Corpse Explosion, but I guess losing Corpse Explosion is fine. <laughs> Cause I mean this way I take zero, and he's still dead very soon. So I'm not too concerned. This is only 12 block. There's like no way to kill him this turn. Eh, whatever. Let's do the 12 block. We should be pretty close to full life after this fight anyway. Normally you'd full heal after a boss, but you have to remember Ascension 5 makes it so uh, you don't heal after every boss. Or you don't full heal after a boss. Pennib is ready to go for the future. For the first fight on the third act. This deck is great. Poison decks are so good. Another burst. Or another corpse explosion. Yeah, I'm gonna go another burst. Hope for energy. Sozu. Or runic dome. Oof. It's awkward. Because <laughs> both ways basically mean I won't be able to use artifact potion well. Uh, but I think, I think Sozu is better. Being able to see intense is vaguely important for a few fights where they're not simple, uh, consistent patterns. I do not want to go to an early shop. There are no late shops, though? Okay, this is a bad layout. Yeah, there's actually only two shops. Good news is there's a lot of question marks. I can follow a path of tons of question marks and fires, so I guess I'm just going to do that. Obviously, I would have liked to have it, you know, work out a little differently. Um, so this will either be 21 or 22 poison if I poison catalyst this boil. Yeah, it's 22. I thought it was. I wasn't certain, though. I guess I probably should have acrobatics first. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. Because we can still kill him here. Um, actually, it just a neutralize is sufficient, and then I can also block and take zero this turn. So he'll die, it'll jump to either one of these. I would hope this one, nice. 
Because now this guy's gonna die, and then I'll jump to him, and it'll be great. Or I'll just try a corpse explosion. I did not. I got great news. We took zero. So that guy's dead, and then that guy has poison 32 on him. So now I just need to make sure I have enough block when he explodes. Well, it might be hard to do. I mean, like, I could just kill him, but also, why would I? That, that'll just make me take more damage. At worst, you know, I, I let him tick out here, and I only have six block, right? That's, that's worst case scenario. Or best case scenario. I let him tick out, and I have 19 block, and we're, uh, we're good to fucking go. Took zero. Nice. Uh, I did come in with six health missing, though, I guess. Malaise is okay, but I'm actually just gonna hard skip. Hard skip. Lose all gold, gain a relic. That's fine. There's no shop coming up. This is a good relic to have me like. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Madness here, but I guess I'll do it anyway. I don't know. Now that Madness costs an energy, it's actually kind of unfortunate. Please no curse. Please no curse. Please no curse. Please no curse. Thank you. 200 gold is pretty good as well. Obviously, we can't really use it, but... Oh, it's 300. Has it always been 300? I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe, though. Find some potions. Wait. If only I could use them... All right, we're going here. Uh, I could heal, but I'm actually just going to upgrade something. Probably this burst. Just so both my bursts are upgraded. And please just be good. Ooh, it's spooky. It's actually really spooky. Oh, he's done it, though. Okay, this is incredible. You, you guys ready for this shit? Bam! <laughs> Holy shit. What a good fucking turn one. Matryoshka is a little late, but... Who knows, we might we might be able to get a free thing. I will go for a backflip, that's fine. Because we do have one box, so we're guaranteed at least one free relic. Uh, I guess at this point I'd upgrade a Neutralize or a Madness. Probably a Neutralize, just get that weaken, lasting an extra turn. So getting one free Vajra Ice Cream. Ice Cream is potentially very good. Another upgrade for Neutralize. Now both are upgraded. Go here, see what happens. There we go. Whetstone. Strike and strike, of course. Blue candle. Okay. Uh, if I go this way, I get one less fire and an extra combat. So let's go this way. Alright. This is probably fine. Single orb walker is probably totally fine. Holy fuck. Alright, you burst, you madness. We have poison. Alright. Burst. I can't believe this. <laughs> I'm actually genuinely upset. I didn't notice that either of these... Well, I mean, I guess I'm just... Yeah, no, I mean, he's still bad, right? <laughs> I was about to say, oh, and I should have done that. I'm stupid. Look, all right. My brain broke there in, in just for a brief moment, all right? I got very confused in the brain. Don't need these. Go here. Do another upgrade. I guess it'll be madnesses. Go here. It's a shop! And I have 420. It's like it was meant to be. Oh my god. It was meant to be, dude. Happy Flower is also very good. Remove a Strike is also quite good. And I could theoretically buy another thing, like a Piercing Whale maybe. But I don't think I need it. But I'll take it anyway. And then we're just gonna upgrade Catalyst because we have full health from Panthograph. So now we have two Catalysts. Oh shit, we're, we're doing it. We're going. Timekeeper. Time Eater. Whatever his fucking name is. Oh, Christ. Holy fuck. Alright, so you start with Burst. Madness. See what it hits. Awesome. I'll backflip. Holy fuck. Stab. Poison. Burst. Catalyst. Catalyst. Wait. Stab. One, two, three, four, five. So stab is five, poison is... Yeah, I mean, he's dead, right? Like, is he actually dead? Holy shit, did I get the... Hang on. I haven't done this math yet, but, like, also... He's fucking dead! We got a turn one kill on Time Eater! Holy shit! I got the achievement! <laughs> oh my god! Holy fuck! That was the most insane turn I've ever had. 
What the fuck? This... Alright, poison decks are hilarious, dude. Holy shit. 900! And nine day I mean that said 905, but 909 damage. 909! Look at how many things I got. Got perfect, got overkill, got champion, mystery machine, money money, and light speed. How fast was that? 30 minutes! I wish there was a thing for under 30, by the way. There isn't. I don't think so. Pretty sure I would have gotten it, because I I checked, you know, and it said 3003 many seconds after winning holy fuck and then ascension of course quite a pretty is a pretty big percent there dude that deck was sick holy shit what's crazy too is like that deck was sick in a lot of ways and we just happened to be going poison <laughs> that was so i gotta look at the score yeah 385 admittedly i'm recording this on friday so people haven't had a lot of time to go but like Jesus, that is a big number. And that was the, the speed as well. It was sub 30 minutes. Dude, I'm gonna submit that to speedrun.com. Hang on, let me let me check. Let me check what the um <laughs> what silent runs are at, dude. Cause I feel like this might be a, a relatively fast silent run. Nobody's really running silent. Dude, it would be first. <laughs> It would be first, and I'm not even actually, like... <laughs> I'm not even... I did, I wasn't even actually trying to speedrun. It just kind of happened. It's funny. And I have a still pretty good win streak. Well, goddamn. Good goddamn. Now I only have one achievement left. Uh, statistics. This one, barricaded. Oh, cool, they bug fixed it. So I just got a You Are Nothing defeat a boss in turn one. And it was on fucking time eater as silent. And it was it was pretty overkill, to be fair. But I like pretty overkill. <laughs> also, it used exactly 12 cards. <laughs> That's crazy. That actually, like, I literally couldn't have... No, I could have done it without bursting madness, right? Is that correct? Wait, no, I didn't even burst madness, did I? What did I do? I don't know, I'll have to look back. What did I fucking... I don't know. Point is... Uh, despite being very not win length, we fucking won and it was free. So that was a fun run. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that good shit, and I'll see you guys back again on Saturday. Um, I think it'll be on this same patch, but I might actually wait. I, I don't know. The reason that I'm doing them in these clusters where it's like Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday are all on the previous week's patch, uh, even though the patch comes out Thursdays, the reason I'm doing that is because um, I don't want to like be under a lot of pressure because I, I have very intermittent things that I have to attend to. So I don't want to be pressured because normally patches Thursday are like a late Thursday for me. So I'd pretty much have Friday to record and upload Saturday's video. And then it might get demonetized and then it might not be re-monetized before it goes up. Uh, and all, the, all this, there's just a lot of, I don't know. I don't want to deal with that mostly, but who knows, maybe I'll, I'll be lazy and actually wait and record on the next patch but if not we'll be on this patch again and we'll probably continue to ascend as the silent uh it'll be normal enemies are tougher which i believe is more health and more blocky stuff so that's exciting uh thanks for watching i'll see you later